hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jobu and guys today i'm going to show you on how to operate a 352 automatic x in q beta and uh, first thing first if you are new on this channel guys i urge you to subscribe smash the notification bell so that anytime i upload any video we walk the walk together Yeah, guys, I believe majority of us already understand what an egg incubator is. For those who doesn't have an idea, an incubator is simply an equipment which provides all the favorable condition for an egg embryo to develop into a chick. A good incubator body should be made of a good insulating material so that to keep the temperature inside free from interference with the run from the outside. So guys, that is one of the most important things to consider before buying anything to better. This is the control panel which regulates everything which happens inside the incubator. This is how our incubator looks like. It has four hatching baskets. This is a 352 full set of all hatcher. Each basket can hold up to 88 eggs capacity. The control panel is an XM18D computer control model. The power rating of this incubator is around 150 watts and has a gross weight of around 50 kg. The incubator has the water trough for providing the humidity. The water trough has water heater and the ball valve for regulating the amount of water being let in inside the water trough. The water heater is for heating up the water so that it can provide the unit required inside the incubator. The water trough has ball valve and water heater. This is the water heater and the other one is the ball valve. Okay, the work of this ball valve here is to regulate the amount of water being let in inside this water trough during incubation period. And you have to make sure that the level of water is always above the heating element. Okay, this is the setter and the hatching crate. This is the setter and the hatching crate. And the hatching crate is very important during the last three days of the hatching period. After 18 days of incubation, you will be transferring your eggs into this yellow hatching crate. The machine comes with the manual and the candle torch. This is the manual and the candle torch. And this is how you arrange the setter inside the hatching crate. Okay, the incubator has some sensors up here. We have the temperature sensor and the humidity sensor. This is the temperature sensor, the metallic one, and the plastic one is the humidity sensor. And we also have the circulation fan. This is the circulation fan for distributing humidity and temperature inside the incubator. And the extractor fan on the rear side. This is where the humidity inside the incubator at any given point will be displayed. So one thing you have to put in your mind is that uh, in order to achieve the right humidity, the water trough must always be filled with water. So you can either add water manually, but it's always advisable to fill it with the ball valve to reduce the frequency of opening the door. Because anytime you open the door, the, the temperature and humidity will get lost. So the water level must always be above the heating element. You have to make sure that the water level is always above this heating coil here. Here on control panel we have the switches. We have this red one for light on and off. The light is, up, is always supposed to be off. And we have this, this green one for fan. This one is for the circulation fan. 
it's always supposed to be on for the circulation fan this fan inside here and then we have the main switch so when you put it on like this the fan is the circulation fan switch must always be on So when you put the incubator on, there will be these two type of figure. We'll be having this upper figure and also we'll be having this lower figure. The lower figure are the command figure and you'll be feeding them manually depending on the type of eggs that you are incubating. The first one is the temperature and the second one is the humidity. This one you'll be feeding them manually. And then we have the upper figure up here. This one will just follow the command down here depending on the type of figure that you have put that you have feed down here so so happy we have the temperature reading at the moment at this moment and it will keep on fluctuating up to the one that we have set down here this is the command one the same apply with the humidity the humidity figure will also keep on fluctuating up to the one that we have set down here so let's say you want to hatch something which requires different temperature and humidity. You just come and you change the figure down here, the command figure, this one here, and you'll be using this button here. You'll just come and press the set button. This is the set button. This first one is the set button. After pressing it, uh, the figure down here will change. It will change to TT, TT that's the temperature plus the current reading of the incubator which was 37.8 and TT and then you'll either increase it depending on the figure which you want or, dec or decrease it with the down arrow depending on the, the temperature which you want your incubator to operate on and then you come and you press OK after pressing OK the parameter down here will change to HH, which is humidity. You'll also do the same thing. You either increase it or decrease it, and then press OK. That is how you set the incubator command center. The structure turning is automatic, but you can always do it manually by long pressing and releasing the arrow button pointing upward. Okay, the eggs to be incubated should not be more than 7 days after laying and the sharp point must always face downward on the setters. Okay guys, we have come to the end of our today tutorial and if you like the video, please give me that thumbs up, share the video and do not forget to subscribe. Bye bye.